And just another quick uh, comment about the rounding of the edges tool that we used for this corner. Um, I went ahead and went back a couple steps in my history because I wanted to kind of show you something that could happen. Um, so right near now I, I have the direct selection tool and I'm able to have this curve uh, create edges kind of option here. So when I click and drag, you notice that it's also clicking and dragging all the corners. So it's also doing this up, up top in the middle if you could see that moving up and down. We just wanted this one corner. So if you want all the corners, you could do that. Or if you kind of click it and then click it again and hold, it'll only select that one. So it's a little finicky. So if you just, the very first time you click and hold it, it'll do all of them. But if you kind of click on it once and then click on it again and then hold, it'll only do that one corner, which is what you want. So now I'm back on the other side of the M. I'm going to do the same thing. Go ahead and get my, selected the M. I'm going to get my direct selection tool. I have my rounded edges here. Click twice. So I don't want to drag all the other corners. And I already did that one with the curvature tool. Kind of adjusted that one. All right, so the top portion is done. So I have the right side and the left side. I'm just going to work our way down the M. So now I want to be able to add a little black area to make that curve happen. So we can draw that manually with the pen tool and add the shapes together using the shape builder tool. Um, or we could see what we could do with the curvature tools and some other things to help us. So we have a curvature tool here. It looks like we have two points. I wonder if we can delete a point. And bring that back. So that's one point. Well, it's a little complicated. Let's see. We have our this curvature option. Click once. Click twice and drag up. Oh, perfect. Love that option. Let's make sure it didn't change any other corners for us. It didn't. It just did that one. So that was easy. Another option would just be to grab the pen tool and to trace around and add a shape and then bring it together using the shape builder tool and just adding those shapes as one object. So that was easy. So now we have these two little parts of the M. Let's zoom out. Kind of the apex of the M here. And so once again, I can add a little shape and I might do that just so I can show you an option if you don't get that curvature tool option. I might have to reduce the stroke on this a little bit so I can see exactly where it goes. So I can just grab the regular pen tool and just gonna go ahead and trace that let me zoom in so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just going to trace around this little circle. We're just trying to be as exact as possible because we are using the golden ratio. So we're just trying to be very exact with our measurements. And let's take the eyedropper tool and make that black. See if we like that. And if we like that, let's zoom out. What's great is we can copy and paste that and reflect it. So I'm going to copy this little object. Here's a little object, and we're going to reflect it. I'm going to go up to Object, Transform, and Reflect. I'm going to do a vertical reflect. Perfect. So now I can drag it over here and line it up, and I already have that done. And we could always fine tune it after we're uh, after we take out the circles. We'll be able to fine tune it a little more. So let's do this very bottom of the M. And that's already pretty close. Let's see if we can't just grab the curvature tool. So next we're going to do the bottom of the stem of the M's. The reason why we made this a smaller circle is if we were to cut it along this large circle, that would be a very dramatic cut to the M. I don't want it so dramatic, I want a more subtle cut, so that's why we have this more medium sized golden ratio circle. So now we just have to cut this portion out. So let's go ahead and zoom in and start that process. So a couple ways we can do that. We can add a point right here and a point right here. And it looks like there's two points, so let me see if I can't remove one. Now there's only one point left. Let's see if I can't do my curvature tool. 
and bring all these curves down here. Beautiful. Such a handy little tool. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just deleting, there's two anchor points, so I'm just deleting one so that I can use the anchor tool. And that one seems to be a little different. Let's do something different just to kind of show you other options. So I could take the pen tool and I could cut a little shape out right here. Okay, I'm just going to do the stroke so you can see the, 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 what I made. I'm going to get a different color. So I'm going to take everything inside and cut it out. So I'm going to highlight this shape and then highlight the M. And I'm, I'm going to flip this back to a fill. Select both. I'm going to grab my uh, Shape Builder tool over here. Hold down Option or Alt if you're on a Windows and just start subtracting. And that's another way you can cut it out. Of course, I have to go back and noodle around with this little bit right here. Let's subtract. So we're ready to remove the circles and reveal what we created. So select everything, deselect the M. I'm just going to shift. Actually, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy and paste this so we can have a copy of how we applied the golden ratio circles. And now I can go ahead and delete this and see what we have underneath. So that is our M applied with some golden ratio curves. And I'm going to go and make some small adjustments to some, some uh, rough curves that are left over. And once I fine tune this, we can start to adapt this to a little, little branding, a little logo mark I'm going to do, kind of a personal brand I decided to do with this. So I'm just taking the curvature tool I'm just going to make some adjustments to the curve and get them just right. So just for fun, I'm going to make this a little personal brand with the last letter of my name. So I'm just going to do a quick little marsh lettering. And I'm going to make this open sans because I have, I'm free to use that. It's an open font. Put a dramatic spacing here. Let's do uh, 1200. Spacing, oh, that's uh, letting. Let me do tracking, 1200 right here. Make this span kind of the bottom. What I want to do is make it span right along the legs of the M. So kind of line that up, make sure we're doing everything properly and nicely aligned. And I have just enough white space here. I have a good amount of white space. And there's our little logo mark. This is black. But we could do a combination of colors. And I'll go ahead and show you on the screen what I ended up coming up with. And I did one with a gradient mesh. And I'll go ahead and bring this one back. I'm going to copy and paste it. And I just applied a quick little gradient mesh went over here to, to my gradient mesh tool. I just kind of clicked in some areas and started to apply with the direct selection tool, selecting certain elements in here and going back to my default swatches panel, kind of adding some dramatic color all along the edges. Kind of going with a little bit of a bright, fun theme. Let's do that blue, and there's one down here. Let's do it a dark blue to kind of give the element of shadows and kind of lighter, lighter colors up top. And this is what I ended up coming up with in the end. It's kind of a little branding package I thought was kind of fun using the golden ratio. I'm kind of using my last name. So if you have a letter of your last name, you can use that as an example. Use the golden ratio circles and start applying some curves. Overlap those circles to find unique curves and shapes as well. As long as you don't change the size of the circles relative to each other. You can change all of them at once and make them bigger or smaller, but don't change one circle and make it larger than the other when you mess up the ratio. So as long as you keep that in mind, you can have fun with this and really experiment. The golden ratio is there as a guide and a tool. It's not an overall rule. So, so it's there to help you create certain curves and shapes. 
uh, but it's really up to you to create what you want to create. <laughs>